Hey, everybody. Welcome to this bonus episode of Hormonally Speaking. For this week, I hope that your crazy holidays are not feeling too, too crazy right now and that you're getting some time to really enjoy and get quiet in the season. I've really been doubling down on doing a meditation practice in the morning when I wake up and also moving my body such a difference for me, at least when I do some movement in the morning after waking up, whether that be some yoga or sometimes I actually need some cardio that's going to help support, you know, in cases of maybe your cortisol being a little low in the morning and you need to bring that up, get your energy going for the day. Don't overdo it. Just a really, you know, simple, does not have to be high intensity kind of cardio can be helpful in those situations, especially with the sort of darkness and everything that's happening at this point of the year for those of us in the Northern hemisphere, um, early in the morning. So, and that's just a little aside of what's been happening on my end might help you too, but today's episode is actually about, uh, something different than the physical things that we do to support our health, like movement and the way that we eat, Um, and the supplements we take all very important things that, you know, for sure, because I talk about them all the time on here. Right. But I also wanted to shine a spotlight on something I've only talked about mm, with a few people on the podcast. Certainly we've had some episodes, um, but I don't know if we focus on the importance of this area and that is energy healing or energy medicine. So I'm always careful to use that word medicine because, you know, um, I am not a licensed practitioner who is in the medical field. And there is a lot of connotations slash, um, ways that you can get in trouble by using the word, um, medicine, but, If you step back and you recognize that energy medicine isn't something that falls under our current allopathic approach to medicine, then you can see how it's a different entity, right? So I might use that interchangeably today, just talking about energy healing, energy medicine, um, as all things with healing. I believe that you are the healer for yourself. Um, We support, you know, practitioners support you in essentially your body doing its own healing. We're not doing the healing for you. So just good reminders about those words because they can carry a lot of meaning for different people. So anyways, energy healing, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've just been rambling on and you have no idea what I'm saying, is essentially healing on an energetic level, right? So we know the physical level, right? We can feel when our joints hurt, we can feel when we have a headache, we can feel when our stomach doesn't feel good. You know, those are all physical symptoms, right? And we do physical things in order to deal with those symptoms. So we maybe take supplements or we maybe change our diet or in some cases we need to take medication. You know, all of those things are physical acts for our physical body, right? Then we have our emotional system. And that is where you're really starting to think about, you know, utilizing therapists to talk through your emotional life, um, to process, but also there's different forms of therapy, right? So there's all kinds of different things that you can do within that like somatic therapy, for instance, which is the belief essentially that our issues get stored in our tissues. And so, you know, something that happened as a child may still be with us now because that emotion got stored in our tissues. So that's the emotional level, right? But we also have an energetic level of our being that's just as important as that physical and as a a emotional levels. And this is one that in the West, I'll just say that overarching the West that we don't tend to know as much about, and we don't um, tend to believe in as much because that's not something that we have been taught since birth. Like we've been taught, you go to the doctor when you have a cold, you know, um, the very physical manifestations. Um, And it's hard for a lot of people to wrap their mind around energy medicine because it is not generally accepted in um, Western medicine. And in fact, a lot of people will say that it is, um, you know, not just woo woo as a word that is used a lot, but, um, it is like quackery, which drives me crazy. 
I could spend a whole episode just talking about that, but I won't today. Um, and the reason that drives me crazy is because cultures like the Chinese culture and Indian culture have these medical systems completely based on our energy system, right? Traditional Chinese medicine is goes way, 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 way back. And it's all about qi, which is our energy, right? And it's based on the meridians running through the body and whether that qi or energy gets stuck in a certain place. And the way to deal with that stuck energy is to open back up those meridians so that the energy can flow properly, right? And when these spots, right, these um, acupuncture points or acupressure points, when the energy gets stuck there, that can manifest in a physical way or an emotional way, all kinds of different ways, right? And those things can also cause the blockage. So if you're under a lot of stress, suddenly your back starts hurting, right? There is a direct connection in Chinese medicine between the emotions and how it's going to show up in your body. And so we use energy in order to help heal the person because they have an energetic level that's just as important as that physical and that emotional. Same thing with Ayurveda, right? There, It's based on the doshas, um, which are basically three energy systems and uh, figuring out the balance and the imbalance between those systems. And it's also, you know, the um, five elements plays a huge role in this too. So how we sort of work with the elements in nature, that's also very important in Chinese medicine. So energy systems and energy healing has a much longer history actually than what we consider medicine in the US and in, you know, most of Europe, Western Europe we consider it this um, physical allopathic medicine, right? Where we diagnose, we treat, we um, have studies that are very um, specific and blind and all of these things, right? That's only about 170 years old. So it's actually the youngest form of medicine out there. So we have all of these other forms of medicine and particularly from that healing perspective, excuse me, energy healing perspective, have been around a whole lot longer and has been used on a whole lot more people, you know, between Chinese medicine and Ayurveda. I mean, we're talking millions of people over thousands of years that um, have been studied essentially by using these energy techniques and refining them over time by seeing how they show up for people, right? So that's basics of, you know, energy in terms of helping me understand what that means. It's not something that we can see, right? And yet we can actually measure energy and you can even see it in Western medicine. There are, you know, um, the heart machines that you go to get your heart checked out to see if things are wrong. Those are really reading these energy frequencies, right? There's so many more examples of that. So it, it's hard for me sometimes to see why people can't make the leap to, well, if we do that, why can't we measure energy in other parts of the body in different ways, right? So today I wanted to just share with you a new tool that I'm bringing into my practice. And I'm gonna share with you because I'm so excited because honestly, I've been looking for a tool like this for years. And I know that there are more than a few, what we call biofeedback um, or bioresonance scans out there, right? So basically it is measuring the energy frequencies in your body. It can measure anything from you know your cells, your tissues to your organs and because they all have their own energetic frequencies. And so these are things that a lot of practitioners I know have utilized in their practice and it, it enables you to get to a completely different level, right? Because you, otherwise you're missing out on the energetic level. You're just hitting that physical and that emotional. And these are kind of the three pillars. So if you don't tackle all three, then you're gonna miss out, right? So long story short, I've been looking for a long period of time for a form of energy healing to bring into my practice. But the majority of them, you know, uh, take some time to learn. Like 
and which is a good thing, right? You certainly don't want to go to an acupuncturist who has been, um, you know, training for three months, right? You want to go to an acupuncturist that has done deep training. Chinese medicine is very complex and very in depth. So you want to go to somebody that's been studying that for years. And I just haven't had the chance to be able to do that as I do so much of my training in sort of the functional, you know, lab testing world and sort of the physical manifestation. So to be able to bring in something that can take care of the energy healing um, has been a big draw for me. And I've learned about a few different scans over the past year or two. And the one that I decided to uh, bring into my practice is AO scan. And the reason, a couple reasons, a lot of people that I trust, practitioners I trust, um, that overwhelmingly liked the AO scan more than any of the other um, uh, systems out there because they think it was, it's the most comprehensive, essentially. Um, so I like that. Um, I had it done on me by another practitioner, and it was very dead on <laughs> in terms of what parts of my systems were, you know, I had that I have issues with that I tend to have um, come up for me as problems. And what's great about this, it doesn't just measure and it measures very in depth, right? All your body systems, um, but it also um, does actual energy healing and you can do it remotely. And that was a key for me in my practice too, because I see all my clients and do all my group programs you know, online. And so it needs to be able to be done in a distance form. And a lot of people ask, well, how can that, how can you do energy healing from a distance perspective? And, you know, what's interesting, right, is they're asking me that as we are sitting on Zoom talking across this, you know, essentially technology really is energy frequencies that go across systems, right? That allow us to take our voice and sit here on this instrument and get that voice and the image out to you on the other side and you back to me, right? That's all frequencies. That's all energy frequencies. And so this is the same thing. It's just measuring the same way, right? And that we have an imprint of our own frequencies, um, you know, in our voice. So that's one of the ways that we scan even in a picture. So it's pretty impressive to me how accurate it was. And that was what kind of sold me. So um, just a couple of quick things. If you want some of the more sciencey things behind it, I just wanted to share with you. So um, basically biophysicists in Germany and Russia pioneered the work of identifying these specific frequencies, right? So specific frequencies for every um, cell and organ and everything in the human body. And they compiled a database of more than 120,000 different frequencies. Um, so these are frequencies that are in every single body, right? Then medical researchers in Germany believe that the health of the organ and the tissue system or cell structure can be identified by passing these microcurrent frequencies. So again, utilizing the system that we utilize in the same way to talk over, you know, uh, Zoom together, to talk over our phones together, to, you know, use a little imprint of your finger on your phone to open it up, right, from being locked. Same idea. So you're using these microcurrent frequencies through the body to measure basically where your blockages are. You know, so if you want to go back to the Chinese medicine idea of things getting blocked, same idea. We're measuring where things get blocked. Um, so let me see what else I wanted to share with you. So really we're using that scan to see what is blocked and then we're using the system, the AO scan, to also help unblock and rebalance the energies that are happening in your cells and your organs and your tissues. So as I mentioned, I've been looking for a tool like this for so long. So I'm so excited to bring it into my practice so that it's just another diagnostic tool really to use alongside, you know, with my one-on-one -on -one clients, I do functional labs all the way from gut testing to hormone testing, to genetic testing, um, to mineral testing, all of these things. And then this is going to be another test. And again, it's not just testing in the moment we can start to do some healing on the energetic level. That is what it allows you to do. As we 
also focus on what shows up on these other labs. And, you know, my guess is based on what I've done with myself, I've tried it on a couple of my colleagues, you know, what's showing up on this scan is the things that we all have issues with. So we're going to get even closer and more specific about what we're going to work on together. I'm also going to utilize this in my hormone breakthrough blueprint program. And this is, you know, a big thing because it is such an in-depth scan. It is such an amazing offering. Um, I thought about only doing it for my one-on-one clients, but I'm so excited about it. I was like, I got to bring it into Hormone Breakthrough Blueprint, right? So this honestly bumps up the worth of Hormone Breakthrough Blueprint, like double fold. Um, It's going to give you so much more information. It's going to do so much more in terms of um, getting your hormones back on track, healing the um, energy issues that you have. So if that's something that you're interested in, go right now to my website, sign up for the wait list for Hormone Breakthrough Blueprint. You'll see it at the top and lots of other stuff in that program. You know, I mean, it's such an amazing program. I love teaching it because it really does change, you know, women's lives. It gives the education about hormones that you have never had before, right? You're going to understand how your hormones work. You're going to understand why things are off and not working correctly. You're going to understand how to work on the things that aren't working correctly so that you start to feel better and that you are really setting yourself up for not just the rest of your menstruating life, but also post-menstruation, right? Because we really can do so much when we're given the tools. And so that's what you get in Hormone Breakthrough Blueprint. And you get that, you know, video, audio, written form. So whichever way that it's best for you to learn, you can look at that way. You can use multiple ways. So a lot of people like to read and, you know, do the video or audio and video. Um, It's really up to you. Um, And then we have guest experts and that are just going to really Um, clarify some of the things that are sometimes kind of hard to understand so that you really get it and you really get it on that physical, emotional, and um, energetic level. And we have the group support, which is what I always love. So many um, people all learn, so many women in the program learn from the other women in the program. It also makes you feel less alone as you go through this healing process. Um, And We're going to use this AO scan, you know, alongside some of the other healing techniques I already use, including EFT and AIT and body code. Y'all, it's, it's next level. I'm super, super excited. So if you are interested in the program and particularly if you want to know, there's going to be a couple of days open before the actual full launch of the program that's happening soon. So go to my website, christinegarman.com, go to the very top of the page and you will see hormone breakthrough blueprint wait list on there had in your name um, and you will know, you'll be the first to know when those spots, those early pre-launch spots are open. Um, One more time, just letting you know, I'm only offering this AO scan for either my one-on-one clients or those in the program. So hopefully that was a good quick overview of what energy medicine is, energy healing is, and what it can do for you. And I will see you soon.